get that chem, that gunk or that chem tool or something like that. I think it's called, some of it used to be called Berryman, I think some of them in it. They still be called that. If I time I'll sh show that can out there. It's the stuff that stinks so bad. I mean, it's that. You don't want it on your hands. When you come back in a house, you smell it all night, all day. I got a big set of good and clubs I used to deal with that kind of stuff. It had been in. The screws are kind of dirty, I guess. They kind of don't come out too well. But. All right. Now we should be to the point of removing the air horn. And this is where you can kind of fudge something up if you're not paying attention to what you're doing and trying to be careful. Um, normally, with any good luck, you just lift off here. But sometimes this is this one I can already tell is kind of stuck. So you can pry on, <coughs> excuse me, you can pry on it, but you got to be careful where you pry on it. You don't want to pry on the flames, the mating flames. So this is a good little spot. So you right back here this, I'm just going to gently kind of, there it is, try it up a little bit. Ugh, boy. Ooh, this thing's nasty inside. Okay. Now then. When you turn the, this thing up. You're going to see this on the bottom. This is the accelerator pump right here. It's got a little piece in there. We already took that big long rod out of it. That's what works it. It's got a spring on it and there's going to be some some way that it's captured up here. I, th I see it. It's got like a little uh, it's got like a little link on it, so I'm not gonna. I don't have to take that out. I can already tell, but I'm not gonna do it till the step calls for it. So we'll just set the air horn to the side right here, and then you have a gasket here. I'm just go ahead and kind of. Ooh, boy, this thing's dirty. Man, it's got all kinds of rust in it. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Well, we'll fix that. We'll soon take care of that. Now I'm just kind of peeling this airborne gasket off, but you need to come back through and uh, probably after you soak it. That soaking stuff's pretty pretty harsh, and it, it kinds of it tends to get this kind of softened up a little bit. Because you may have to come back with like a scraper blade or whatever and get the remains of it off. These are easy carbs to rebuild. This is like a 2G. Rochester 2G. Yeah, I'm, I've got most all this gas up, but I'm not going to try to just be perfect with it right now because we're just trying to get it apart right now. Yeah. Yeah, I'll get the rest of that there. Okay. Okay, well, we're to that step, it says actually. Okay. It says invert the air horn and compress accelerator pump drive spring and remove S link from pump shaft. Pump assembly can now be removed. Okay, that's very simple. If you can kind of see down in here, this is the S link. It's got a little plastic piece on it to, you know, goes on that rod we took out. So what you're going to do is you're just going to take your finger and push up on this pump and this spring down there. Just push it up and work that little carefully work that little blink out of here. There it is. That's all there is to it. Now I will not put this in the soak either. This is plastic. Don't put that in the solution. Leave that out. As you can see, uh, all this is, this is you'll replace this. This is in the kit. The spring, you probably need to keep the spring for sure. I don't I'm sure there's no spring coming with it. So just kind of lay that back. On its own right there. And uh, okay, that says remove the fuel inlet seat from the main mouth. Okay, this this I think we've got. Let me interrupt myself. I think that we're done with this. This whole 